Well, hello again from Kingston. Yet another busy week on the third crossing. When is there anything different? You'll see what we mean in the update. Please consider subscribing and get a friend to do so. Thanks for watching. On June 30th, with the last of the steel pieces in place, it was time to retire one of the LR1300 cranes. Berta made her way across the causeway to parking on the east side, where she's been for some weeks. She was due a routine service, but finding a place to conduct such a service and arranging transport for so many heavy components is not a straightforward matter. But this week, the time for her disassembly finally came. On Wednesday, with maintenance on hand and a skilled operator at the controls, she lowered her boom. The work then began of removing all the linkages and the ballast weights. Separating the sections of the boom was the first task. You get a feel for the scale of this whole machine when you see men standing beside it. All the component parts were then positioned to ease later loading. Removing the boom section closest to the cab required repositioning. This was the situation by midday. Note the open yellow accessory container just below the abutment. Several boom sections departed on Wednesday. And by Thursday morning, three more trucks of the 18 that will be required in total had arrived on site. Once loaded, they lined up for departure. The red truck looks lightly loaded, but there's some 50,000 pounds on that load bed. Because of the extraordinary weight of these ballast plates, the 1200 crane had to be brought up to load them. A combination of hard work and great organisation saw several of the loads off to New Jersey by midday. Friday saw more activity and more loads departing. Next week should see the cab and tracks departing, a sight worth seeing. But there's been a great deal of additional activity on the east side, with the Tomlinson team, who have the contract to build the roadway to Highway 15, very busy. Many concrete vaults and pipes have to be laid and excavation of the shallow limestone rock to create trenches for these has been a challenge with a rock breaker brought in specifically to tackle the task. All the activity is closely controlled with regular survey checks to ensure accuracy. Operation of heavy machinery on a very tight site demands skill from all the operators concerned. But significant progress was evident by the end of the week. Construction sites are tough on equipment and the odd broken window has to be taken into account. In the margins, a bulldozer has also been active this week. 
a little closer to the river, work on the east abutment is clearly proceeding quickly and well. A delivery of concrete on Wednesday was hoppered into the pedestals atop the abutment. It's evident that another concrete pour is due. And over the river itself, work was concluded this week with the withdrawal of the last temporary piles. That work began when the dive boats were lowered back into the water from the causeway where they'd spent the long weekend. Protective curtains were laid around each pile and the site in total. Soon the divers' bubbles could be seen, indicating work in hand. On either side of the bridge, safety crews played an important role in advising boaters that divers were in the water. Before too long, the pile count and the trailer that would take them for disposal was growing. One of them was spotted departing later in the week. Another notable event on the river on Tuesday was the passage of the Kawartha Voyager on her way to Ottawa. It's worth mentioning too that the floating dock which is used by the construction team was also repositioned this week. Well before 7 o'clock on Wednesday morning, the ready-to-mix trucks from CBM Concrete were already arriving on the West End to support a major concrete laying operation using the Gamaco machine. This was the first time that concrete has been laid in the gaps between concrete girders. Everything seems to have gone very well. And if you're wondering about our gallant workers with ABF, another rebar delivery this Wednesday suggested they're using a great deal. Quite a quiet week for wildlife this week, with one little gem. Well, that's another week in the bag. Stay tuned for more updates, typically on a Sunday. And in the meanwhile, be safe out there. Bye for now.